In Windows Server 2019, there's a couple of different ways that we can share a folder to give access to people on the network. Let's go ahead and start by going into the C drive on our 2019 server and create a new folder. And we'll just call this the data folder. We'll right click on that folder and we can choose to just go right into sharing by clicking on give access to and choose specific people or we can choose the more advanced way of doing it, which we're going to do here. We'll click on the sharing tab. And once again, we can choose the easy share or we can choose the advanced share. Now I like to choose the advanced share better because if there's a folder with a lot of data in it, then it will cache all the information when it's uh, after you click OK, rather than waiting for all of the settings to apply, which could take 20 or 30 minutes per folder, depending on how much data you have in it. So the advanced sharing, we'll go ahead and click share this folder, click on permissions. Now take away the everyone option after you replace it with domain users or whatever it is that you want to give access to. So click on check name and remove the everyone. So what this does for you is by adding in domain users, then you're going to keep people from connecting to your network that are not part of your domain and encrypting your files. So domain users means you have to be a member of the domain before you can get access to those files. So go ahead and click OK, OK here. And now we've got to go to the Security uh, tab. So we're going to go to where it says Edit. And let's just go ahead and click Add. And we see test.internal. So we're, that's the name of our domain. So once again, we're going to choose domain users. If this is a shared folder where we can give everybody access, click OK. And then we're going to give all the way through modify access. We don't want the domain users to be able to change uh, the various different settings. So we don't want to give them full control, but we do want to allow them to make changes. Go ahead and click apply and OK. And we'll click, click close. Now this is just one of the ways to share. Let's just double click uh, and uh, the file explorer and just make sure that it shows us the shared folder. And there it is, there's data and we can open it up. All right, so that's one way of doing it. Now the other way of doing it is through server manager. So we can click on file and storage services in server manager and we can click on shares. And from here we can click on tasks and click on new share. So most of the time, you're just going to choose the quick option. If you wanted the advanced option, then you're going to have to install some additional roles. So let's just go ahead and choose quick, choose next. We can see that there's our custom volume, the C drive, or we can try typing a custom path and clicking browse. Let's go ahead and do a custom path. And from here, we're going to click on new folder. We're going to call this one data two. And we'll go ahead and select that folder. Click Next, click Next. Now we get a couple of extra options. One is enable access-based enumeration. So basically what this is going to do is if a user doesn't have the ability to at least read the folder, it's not even going to show up in their uh, browsing when they try to browse your folders. This is a really good security feature. Caching of shares uh, allows you to cache the information for offline use, and it's totally up to you if you want to allow that or not. And encrypting the data access, of course, is a good idea if you wanted to encrypt it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that unchecked for now. And customizing permissions. So this is the same as adding the share and security area that we saw earlier. So where it says permissions, this is the same as the security tab. Where it says share, this is the same as the share tab. So once again, we're going to remove the everyone group, by, but first we're going to add in domain users. So we choose the select principal, check names, full control, and click OK. Then we choose everyone, and we choose remove. Then we do the same that we did last time or whatever permissions you would like. And we'll click check names, check names, and we'll give modify. And then we'll click OK and apply. So what this is going to mean as far as permissions goes is when you have full control on the share permission and you have whatever permission you have on the security tab, in this case it just says permissions, but it means the security tab, it's going to take whatever the least amount of permissions are between those two. So in this case, the, use, the domain users are going to have the modify right because that's the least permission between full control and the uh, security tab, which has modify. If I went into share and I changed this from full control to just read, then the domain users would have read because read is the lesser of the two. 
So we'll go ahead and leave it as it is. Click Next and click Create. It says it's done. So you can see there's a lot of extra options when you choose the uh, server manager and choose the shares instead of just right clicking on the folder. So let's go ahead and once again type in the name of our server, server 2019, hit enter and now we see both data and we see data too. So that's how you create shared folders in Windows Server 2019 using Active Directory.